Okay. Ugh. Try to record a day of eating video. Let me redo that. That light is fucking deadly. Fucking deadly, son. Alright. What's going on, everybody? It's about 4 15 ish. I don't know. And it's, uh, it's pretty warm today. It's like 40 degrees. It's nice. I get to just wear my sweatshirt, which is something that I wanted to do in a while just with a sweatshirt. Because it's kind of annoying wearing my puffy jacket all the time. And today is Monday. Chest and try video day. Oh, God, I botched that. But I hope. Well, today is the 10 sub special. You know what's cool? I can like check my surroundings. I can check my surroundings with like the viewfinder. <laughs> no one's sneaking up on me. <laughs> but okay, so today is the uh, 10 sub special, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I can hit it. And you'll see what I'm talking about when it happens. I tried to record it last week and I got it. This is very confusing to you, I understand, but you'll see what I'm talking about. I got it, I'll show some footage of that. Um, of me attempting it and getting it, but I didn't get it how I like it, how I would have liked to get it. <sighs> Jeez, it's so confusing, but, um, today's the day for it, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you stay along for it, um, and I'll see you in a little bit. I got one more thing to say, but I'll, I'll save it for the light, it's getting a little dark. Alright, so the last thing I wanted to say was that I'm pretty excited because I ordered a tripod and um, ordered off Amazon because I tried to record a day of eating video and I had to put this camera on like like salsa cans and like like cereal boxes and like ridiculous things to try to get the correct angles and I was like, it's not worth it. <sighs> that light, that light. And it's not worth it, it was just really weird and it looks... <laughs> Looks stupid because it was like a flat angle, like a f flat angle. It wasn't like the correct, like downward or upward angle. So I just said screw it and I scrapped the whole thing. So maybe next weekend I'll get a day eating video because you guys seem to like that. It had the most views. I think it was the most views on my channel, which is kind of weird, but whatever. I don't really care. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. 10 sub special video today. Just try. I was a little loud. I need to shut up. Alright, well, see you guys in a little bit. What's going on, everybody? It's Eddie from EV Fitness, and today I have the post commentary. And uh, I'm gonna travel back in time with you guys because this is actually a week old, and that seems to be kind of my thing. And I don't want it to be my thing doing videos a week old because I think I said this in a pre previous video, I have like ideas that I want to say. And after a week, they kind of just disappear. So this shot is actually, I know I said I got a tripod. It's not on the tripod. This is actually on a trash can. <laughs> so some next level angles right here. Uh, it's on a trash can. I really like this angle. I think it looks sick. I love Bench so much. I'm getting happy right now watching this and editing this. I was pretty happy just because I love Bench. I think Bench is so much fun. So, um... As you can probably guess, maybe if you want, if you, if you guessed, um, the 10 sub special is 135 on the bench for 10 reps. And for some who lift, that's not that big of a deal. But for me, it kind of is because it's a milestone. Uh, I see a plate as a milestone, and I guess most people do because the bar is 45 pounds, and the largest the plates get is 45 pounds. So to me, I think. Um, a big benchmark is being able to bench press one entire plate and I want to do it for 10 reps for 10 subs so I think by now when I'm recording this I have about 12 when I made this I had 10 so I'm just gonna roll with it 10 reps for 10 subs and here are my warm-up sets uh, I'm using clips on the warm-up sets I need to stop doing that <laughs> I don't need the clips anymore um, I'm just kinda used to it I'm, I don't know, I don't want to be that guy where I like tilt it and they slide off and then I like snap my shit up, but uh, that's not going to happen, so I just need to like stop using clips. Anyways, um, so here's the warm up set. Uh, today is Monday as well, this was recorded last week. I actually just finished doing an Iron Marathon with Ryan, and um, 
Maybe I'll, I'll explain the Iron Marathon later, but just to sum it up, an Iron Marathon is basically 200 plus reps on the bench press. And I did that with 115 instead of 135, because 135 would have literally been impossible, but I killed it with 115. So, yeah, the warm-up sets. Um, actually, right here, I'm going to do my warm-up set as 115. And 115, before I hit 135, which is like the highest uh, my bench kind of goes, that I comfortably want to go at, 135 is my testing zone. So right here, in this set, I'm kind of testing the waters, and I'm seeing if I'm going to be able to hit 135. And today I wanted to hit 135 for 10 so bad, because I'm not sure if I said it in the morning part, but I tried it last week. Uh, the week before this was recorded, I tried it, and I didn't get it how I wanted to. I didn't have a spotter, um, and I'm not using the spotter necessarily to help me with the reps, uh, because that would be somewhat cheating in my in my mind. But when you see the clips, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm not using the spotter for helping with reps. I'm just using it as kind of like a mental way to kind of realize that, yo, I can push for these extra reps and not be nervous about not having a spotter or something is up. And I didn't get it. I think I got it for 7 reps. Pause. Got it for 10. But today's different, boys. Today is different. Today I got it for you guys, and I'm pretty stoked about it. Here's the raw footage. My voice is probably drained out. Here's the raw footage, guys. The whole raw footage. So as you can see uh, in the clip, he did help me on the last one, but uh, it looks like he helped me. What he said is that he didn't help me. He just kind of like uh, put it on his hands and he was just resting there. So I'm going to take his word for it. And he said that they pulled it back. Obviously, that's just what spotters do. So that doesn't really affect it. So I'm going to say I got 10 reps. I didn't get it by myself, but I got 10 reps. And I'm pretty happy about that. That is the second time that I was able to hit 10 reps. And my form for the bench was actually messed up. I know it looks like it's alright, but there are two major things that I messed up. Dancing feet. As you can see right here, look at this. What am I doing? What am I doing? Jeez. God dang, man. I have dancing feet, and I'm not tense. And dancing feet is you move your feet a lot when the weight feels heavy. And then obviously not, it's not being tense, because having tension in your body equals power on the bench. And um, so we have some incline. And I have some, I did incline, decline, bench, and I have some tricep extensions. Um, this is an alright angle. I do a lot of tricep work. I do about four exercises, two for the lateral head and two for the long head. Um, that's what I did today in the gym, boys. I don't show my tricep footage uh, at all, really. I actually never show I think I showed it once, maybe. That was like a few months ago. But that's what I did in the gym today. I hope you guys liked the 10-sub special. If you did, uh... I don't know. I don't want to say drop a like because that's so cliche and overused. Uh, do whatever you want. Do whatever the heck you want to do. But it was fun doing it. I'm going to try it again next week. And until next time, I will see you guys again soon.
it has been Eddie from EB Fitness. See you guys later.